you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Ready? ready? Hey, everybody, welcome back to Live to Fish. I got a free gift. A free gift. That you're keeping for yourself. Heck yes. No doubt about it. I know. Now listen. Yes. Before we talk about these awesome rods, I have to tell you, I talked to a young man that you might know, Kevin Van Dam. I think you've heard of him. He's a young up and comer. And, and, and doggone it, listen to me. And, and I'll state claim, I'll put my name on him. That kid's going to make it in this industry. Oh, yeah. yeah I think you're no right. Doubt. I think you're right. He's got potential. No doubt. But I asked him a question. I said, if you were stranded in the Michigan wilderness, would you rather have Mark Zona or Greg Hackney? Oh, my gosh. That's an easy answer. I'd, so I'm asking you, if you're stranded in the Michigan wilderness, would you rather have Kevin Van Dam or Greg Hackney? <laughs> well, what's interesting is I'm more big on if I was a cannibal, if we were stranded, which one would I decide to eat first? So like if it goes Lord of the Flies, it, 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 right. Walking it, it, Dead, it, right. Right. If we are like the Swiss Alps, look, I would, I, I would, I, I would, I would, if I was a cannibal, I'd eat Van Dam first. Anyway, uh, above and beyond that, um, I think Hackney uh, would stalk you, though, like a, like a Listen, hunter. I have hunted uh, with Greg Hackney. Let me put it this way. I would dump Van Dam at the curb for Greg Hackney in a hunting situation. Trust me. Yeah, he's, or like a Red Dawn situation. See, Greg reminds me of the guy, like, he looks like the guy that could, like, skin a snake with his teeth type of guy. Yeah, what's interesting about Hackney is I actually spend a lot more time with him than I do Van Dam. <laughs> he's that person that's one, um, one moment away from ending up on the news. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, somebody just pushes him a little bit too far. Yeah. I'm being honest saying that I'm, too. I'm with you. So. I'm but with I, you. I, I say that in a good way. Yeah, that's the guy you want on your side. Yeah. You know, yeah. And, I, and the thing I find too about him is, like I tell people, I'm never worried about the guy that's gonna tell me he's gonna beat me up. Yes. I'm worried about the guy that's just sitting there giving you that look. Yeah. And that's hacked. And not only that, he's got like on planet Earth, he's got like three friends. Yeah. And I feel like somewhere I fall in of one of those three, at least for now. Hang uh, on to so that. So I'm in good shape. Don't let that go. Yeah, no doubt. Tell me about this rod right here. Uh, you know the great thing about this new rod, the Daiwa Tatula line of rods, whether they're the bait casting, the spinning rods, or the crankbait rods, uh -huh. um, here's the great thing, the SVF blank. That's one of the blanks they used to use a lot in their higher end rods, uh, Portuguese cork blank, uh -huh. or grip right here, the cool Tatula spider right here. But here's the great thing about these rods. Here's a concept. 189 down to 159. They're technique specific. If you're a drop shot or if you're a cranker, if you're a jig fisherman, you can fill the boat and you don't need to break the bank for quality. Love it. Yeah. And the way you know that Mark Zona is a pro is we somehow segued from talking about Greg Hackney and cannibalism into that flawlessly. Well, no doubt about it, but I'm not going to lie. My mind is starting to race about fantasy football. <laughs> I've got a lot of mock drafts that I'll be doing. Oh, no, I forgot about Delta Airlines here shortly. Thanks for your I time. I love you. Football. By the way, I do not like the beard. I love it. Thank you.